So something I've been meaning to make for a long time is something to hold uh, my drywall screws. There's something I use all the time. I like to reach in and just pull them out. Now, I used to just keep them in an old toolbox right in their original boxes I bought them in. That was nice, but I still, I, I would label the top lid of the box so I could see, okay, these are inch and five eighths, these are two and a half, but it always got mixed up. So I finally got around to building cases for them. Um, they're just simple wood boxes from scraps of wood I had around the shop and I'm keeping everything in uh, plastic Tupperware and it's nice I can label these I'll be able to pull them out so if I have a project I know I'm gonna need you know two and a half inch screws I can just find them pull them out I can take them with me um, I decided to make these in two cases rather than one big case because that's the size of what I had in I can always add more. They're kind of modular. I can move one around if I don't need one. So two seem better for me. I also put a large compartment at the bottom. I had these um, concrete board screws from when we did our bathroom. I had way too many left over. So I'm going to try to use those and that'll have a big compartment at the bottom. I can get to quickly. I can label these. I'll be able to grab them. I'm going to keep them under my workbench where I've always kept them. Uh, most of my screws are kept in this rolling drawer, but for drywall screws, I'm always using them. I always need to grab one or two. And the Tupperware just seems super convenient. I'll be able to get there, open it up, take some out, and it'll be quick and easy and labeled and organized. And I'll have them whenever I need them. Now to make the boxes, um, I used just thin plywood for the top and back, and I used hardwood for the side, just some pine. And I cut the slots out on my radial arm saw that I've had. And I'm starting to use this a ton now, just for cutting dados and rabbits to a, a certain depth. So I just cut these out thin enough to where I can put these little hardboard sheets in there. And I cut these on the table saw. And these will just slide in and the Tupperware containers sit on that. I've also seen where you can cut the dados so that the Tupperware edge themselves rides in the grooves. I didn't like that. These are pretty cheap. They would probably break or crack. So I like uh, having the little shelves to sit on but overall it's super simple went together really easily just for measuring uh, make sure it all fits it's pretty tight tolerance um, but they're great I just keep them right here under my workbench always ready to go and always where I need them so let me know what you think thanks Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.